this hat makes me fly, makes me uh, waterproof, 100,000 uh, millimeters, and uh, ASE certified. I first fell in love with the art of skiing as a young boy. There's really no mountains in Minnesota, it's, it's just hills. So in my backyard I would build little snow hills out of, you know, the snow. I've been skiing so long for you were nothing but a glimmer in your daddy's eye. I... What? You know, I was only able to ski once a year, but it was that once a year that really connected me with with the snow and and the atmosphere of skiing, I would say. You know, living in Minnesota, there's just not a whole lot you can do. I mean you got you got Afton, but that's that's more of a valley than a hill. I mean I don't ski valleys. I mean look at this. It's not what I do. I've always tried to attack this slope and the slope was my enemy. And I've recently learned after talking to some people and some of my fellow ski mates that I should just become, you know, more of friends with the slope and learn the slope and, you know, get to know its troubles and get to know its friends and its family. Because once you learn the slope and you become friends with the slope, you can predict the slope. My goal as a skier this year was to just take advantage of that untamed terrain out there in the Canadian wilderness and just show people what I can do. And so, yeah, I think that's what I did. I do have something I bring to every trip that brings me luck. This is the only lucky gear I got. It's all I need, dude. You ain't got that because you're not a man like I am. So you want to know my lucky item, it's right there. I don't, I don't think I need to say more about that. You know what I'm saying. That first night, we were just crossing around the lodge, growing out, just chilling, you know, just eating some good food. And then Brandon comes up to me, he's like, dude, look outside. So I look outside, and it's, it's coming down out there, man, just pounding us, like snow everywhere. It really changes the element, it really changes the game, because you know, when there's blue skies and the sun is shining, you can see for miles, you know, that's definitely a cool experience, for sure, no doubt. But with these whiteout conditions where you just can barely see, you know, 10 feet in front of you, you don't know who's behind you, who's in front of you. It's just a really big adrenaline rush. My favorite run had to be seeing that young dumb whippersnapper with a camera on his head hit the and slope, knees buckle and his face hit the ground, hard and freaking when I pulled the tail of a cat, whipped it when I was a kid, that was great to watch. Never liked that kid. I mean, I just, my potential is just off the charts, out of the boundaries. And I was able to cross those boundaries at a place like Whistler. We were whipping through the trees at just, just crazy speeds and we stumbled upon this run. It, it really let me open my soul up, you know, it was just, it really could, I could bond with it. it. It had tough moments, you know, where you just didn't know where you were going and then it would open up. You, you could really be free and just float on the fresh pow. It was just, you know, it was a life-changing experience. Borders are just a little more chill, you know. I like to feel the snow, just get that connection with Earth, you know? That's what it provides. My dream really is to get more into the skiing culture. You know, skiing, skiing is definitely my life, but you know, as you can see, I'm starting to get the ski fashion, and you know, I'm starting to really connect with other skiers, and get into your know, ski large life. doing a photo shoot next winter it's going to be really good I pose with some some snow pants and nothing on the top 
and I have my ski poles, and it's really, it's really going to be good. When Sigoro plays like Whistler, and that's here, you want to you wanna just keep taking those steps forward. And so, you got to go here. And then the year after that, you got to go, you got to go here. Just, you can never be satisfied. I'm telling you, never be satisfied. Always strive for more. No, for real though, you guys are like family. I appreciate this a lot. And uh, this whole trip has just been an adventure, you know. You just get to know new people and just, I don't know. Just things come out of nowhere and you end up with a great time. I just can't think you guys enough.